Hi, my name is Alfred Poirier. I'm a professor here at Westminster Theological Seminary, and I teach in pastoral theology. And I want to thank you first and foremost, because we're speaking to you today because you're a donor. You're a person who has invested your life, your time, your money, your prayers, that men and women that come here as students can be thoroughly equipped with the gospel of Jesus Christ to bring it to the world. And it's, it's the gospel I want to talk about. You should be getting a booklet similar to this, which is the Gospel of John. And very briefly today, I wanna have you look at three things about evangelism and how to use this wonderful gospel booklet. The first thing is just very simple, isn't it? Get to know a person. Uh, if I am driving in an Uber, <clears throat> if I'm just walking by a person and come up to them, I'll just get to know them. Hi, my name is Alfred. What's your name? Get to know their name in any way that you can. Usually just a first name is what people will give to you, but get to know a name. And I say that because the Bible is full of God naming his people. Even this, it's just not gospel. It's the gospel according to John. And that's one of the wonderful things about the gospel that you're going to share. They're real people by a real God, and he knows your name. The second thing is not only get to know the person, something about them, but particularly their name, is get to know John. Get to know this booklet. So I would encourage you before you ever share a book like this, is you actually read through that gospel. And particularly if you're going to use a book like this, I've read the gospel of John many times, I've preached through it, but I actually want to familiarize myself with this gospel. In fact, I have earmarked, just bent the page over, where I think it's going to be an appropriate place that I can show that person uh, a passage that I think is, is beautiful. Here's one of them. Uh, Jesus said to her, this is to Martha, so I know who the her is because I've read the, the passage. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. So again, get to know the Gospel of John and Read it in this booklet. Now, there's something special about this booklet that I want to show you. At the very beginning of the booklet, you know, it says you're holding a true story in your hand. And remember that the world we're living in, people hear lots of stories. They go to the movies. They may read books. But they know stories, but they don't know if a story is real. And you can say, this is a real story, an eyewitness account of who Jesus is. And wonderfully laid out in the first part of this booklet, yours may be a little different, but is a diagram that can actually help you lead that person to saving faith in Jesus Christ, to present the gospel in a very simple but clear way. And I would encourage you to to look at each of these and whatever booklet you have, whether this booklet, the one that you get, if you ever get another booklet, just familiarize yourself with that front matter of the booklet. It's very important. Um, <clears throat> and then thirdly, uh, you know, you want to get to know the person, get them to know their name, get them to know the Gospel of John, tell them a little bit about who John is John is, is one of Jesus' apostles, that this was an eyewitness account, a real person writing about the real person, Jesus Christ. Get to know that Gospel of John and this booklet. But finally, in, in all encounters uh, I have, I, I, I do try to do two things. Either get a second encounter with that person. Sometimes you can do that. Somebody would say, hey, I want to speak with you again. That's a second opportunity. Or get an acceptance with that person. Uh, you may be on a plane and I may never see that person again, right? You can share this Gospel of John. <clears throat> and the best way to share anything is 
to know their name. I can't stress that enough. That's why I always try to know a person's name. I love it when somebody calls me, hey, Alfred, I immediately will turn. Um, so get to know their name and then try to get that second opportunity and that, or that acceptance by simply saying, let's, let's say that you're talking to, uh, I'm talking to a man by the name of Paul. I would say, Paul, thank you so much for sharing a little bit about yourself and letting me share about myself. I, I would like to give you this booklet because it's the most important booklet in the world. And I know our time is short, but it changed my life and it can change your life. Would you be willing to take it? And that's all you have to ask. And if that person takes it, they're more likely to take it if you actually know a little bit about them, you know? So Paul, I really appreciate um, what you're going through. I'm so sorry that you're in the midst of uh, a job loss or thank you, thank you, Paul. It was so interesting that you're running this uh, corporation. Um, you know, whatever it is, let them know that you actually have listened to them. And then hand over this, this passage. That's an acceptance. A second opportunity is even better. If you have a person that you can say, you know, this book changed my life. And I know that you just live, you know, just in, in my area. Would you ever want to just grab coffee somewhere and just talk about this? You know, think it over. Don't, don't press them, but just think it over. And if you're going to do that, you want to make sure that you write your, your phone number or your address in the book or your email in the booklet so it goes with them and it's not something separate. I hope these three things have been helpful for you. Again, get to know the person. Get them to know their name because God knows your name. He knows my name, and he knows that person's name. Secondly, get to know this booklet, and particularly read through the Gospel of John. And thirdly, aim for one simple goal, to get a second opportunity or an acceptance that they would receive and accept this booklet that you're offering. Thank you very much for listening.